Here's something I would like you to think about if you are a plumber, framer, electrician, uh, heating and air conditioning, you're working on new homes or even doing some remodeling work and you go and you put a strap. You install a strap and you think, how in the heck am I going to install this strap to where somebody can't drive a nail through one of these small holes and right into my pipe. And you can see right here that there are no holes. There's a piece of tape obviously hanging over some of this, but you can see there's no no uh, nails, nothing covering these holes here. And this right here is not a good, uh, it's not really a good way to do something like this. It's definitely helping the framing out, the structure of the framing and you can see here I don't really don't know if you can see it but there's actually two nails two holes here and if you just equally space the distance here we have two nails two nails no nails two nails so there's actually two little holes here someone is installing some drywall and uh, they nail the side here obviously you know there's a chance they could hit this uh, that looks like it's back far enough though I'd kind of take that back um, but uh, you can actually drive some nails in here. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, wait a minute. If you're drywalling, you're not going to nail any, you're not going to put any nails in here. And of course, they could always mark it. And that's true. That is true. I, I can't argue that point. But uh, I myself uh, have witnessed one time I was hanging drywall and I had some, was, someone else nailing the drywall. And uh, they actually nailed through one of these straps. I'm not saying that they nailed into the hole. They put a nail into an empty hole and it went into a pipe. They actually nailed a, a 4D drywall nail through a metal strap. Uh, and of course, it wasn't a metal. It was one of these, one of these babies here. So hard to imagine. That's impossible. You can't do it. Well, he did it. So something like this, I think, would be better than uh, something like this. Gives the drywaller. You can see where the drywaller can nail here. He could put some nails in here, maybe um, some nails here. Um, so I think if you instead of using a strap like this, you use something like this. And if you do have to use a strap like this, um, maybe it'd be better to put it on the outside of the house. And I'm, I'm saying that because um, the stucco might be able to cover it up a little easier. Um, but again, this, that's going to create problems for the stucco netting or the lath because you're not going to be able to nail it for this distance. You're not going to be able to staple it or whatever. And I've actually seen this, and, and, I, and I know it's hard to imagine that um, uh, engineers and architects, to me, a lot of them aren't... Um, you know, they haven't ever built anything. So they're not 100% hip on all the stuff. When they go in and they draw a four foot strap in the interior or the exterior, you can put it on the interior or the exterior for whatever reason. But it's a strap that would be designed to, um, or as part of the architectural uh, framing, this part of the structure, it might be tying a beam together, or it might be tying two plates together and you put the strap on there and then they go ahead and they call out for some type of a structural shear nailing on the drywall or the lath and i've seen this plenty of times well how does the two of this work together you know if you don't put any nails or staples um, for 48 inches and yet it's a structural wall that they, that they need it to be um, nailed four inches on center. So again, you know, is that something you bring up to the engineer? Or is it something you just whatever? I'll let the next guy worry about it. And that's often what we do. So anyway, I'm not a big fan of using straps like these with without some type of protection um, behind them. And uh, that might actually be just nailing another one of these you would just install something like this and then install the strap over it. What's the difference? There's already a big hump in the wall. Drywaller might have to uh, mess with it. Uh, something like this is fine. Uh, I you know, highly suggest using these if you have anything less than an inch away. So if you have a pipe going through, a two inch pipe going through the center of a stud and there's a possibility where a one inch um, there's a space from the wall stud to the pipe less than an inch. Um, I would definitely put a plate on those. Uh, plates on the bottom here, 
um, are fine. These are perfect as long as you don't have, you know, any nail holes in here. So again, something like this is perfect for this situation. So my main complaint, of course, is the other picture we were looking at. Something like this, you know, um, if you have a gap between the pipe and the metal, I don't know if you could always put a piece of metal, just slip it down in between there. I'm just throwing that out there or just simply cover it, um, cover it on, install it on the face, which would probably be the best way to do it. I was thinking, looking at this picture, thinking that you could actually just put a plate, a metal plate between the pipe and the um, notch that you cut out of the plate. And then if someone was driving a nail in there, um, they wouldn't hit the pipe, but that's not necessarily true. I could see someone driving a nail in at an angle or something you know, maybe uh, it gets to the bottom of the uh, pipe and, uh, you know, it, I, I'm just saying at an angle, it gets to the bottom and then you have a problem where if you would have put the plate on the outside, you would have never been able to nail it in the first place. So let's get rid of that idea. Now here's one of these straps I'm talking about. This is an MST48. It is four foot long. And a lot of times if you don't have your brakes positioned in the right spot, for your wall framing, you will need to put one of these up here and it's four foot long. So you're not gonna have any nails at the top. And if you put it on the outside, it's gonna be the same thing for the stucco. So um, just thought I would throw that out there. This was always something that I wondered about uh, why we needed to install them in, when, uh, in the newer homes when we didn't put them in the older homes and a lot of those older homes are still standing. So I guess once we get the big earthquake, we'll find out about that. So anyway, my original, original reason why I made the video was just to point this out that uh, I don't think it's a good idea to have the straps in here with uh, nail holes that you could actually, uh, every once in a while, a drywaller could actually end up driving a nail into one of these holes and right into your pipe. Wouldn't be a good thing. 